quite a few things going on. So what are you laughing at? I'm laughing at the... At the That's what? <laughs> I, I like this filler. Yeah, it's, a, it's a great filler. So, this is our setup. We're getting closer to painting the uh, cockpit here. And before painting the cockpit, it's a good idea to, to put in the cockpit drains. Maybe not necessary, but, but a good idea. Let's work later. So, I'm doing that. So, will my drains come loose? <laughs> or, so what are you laughing at? At the what? <laughs> jumping in the Roxana is laughing at my uh, the, the way I secured the new uh, drain holes to the to the to the boat. She thinks a plastic stick is perhaps not the most secure method. I think but it worked. Still there. Didn't fall down, and the whole thing is glued in. Hello there! In this episode we are doing the final work in the cockpit before the top coat spray session. Axel is finishing the little drains, also final touch-ups to the corners of the salon door, while Chris has been sanding and spot filling in the background together with us. The cockpit floor has a slight angle and leaning smoothly towards the salon step or to the bulkhead and that's why the drains are installed there. There is one in front of the step and one right next to the cockpit table. Axel is sanding the surface first and then he will apply an epoxy filler to finish them off. So filling this, I, I'm using uh, an epoxy filler, not maybe not entirely necessary, but better safe than sorry. And uh, I I like this filler; uh, it's a it's a great filler. But <laughs> it's the 24 hour waiting until it has uh, set that is um, a bit annoying. And it's fine if you manage to get everything you need to get you never do <laughs> mix carefully try not to add too much air it's air here because the the epoxy was like trying to displace the air and didn't quite manage but uh, yeah two little cockpit drains placed mm -hmm. and hopefully waterproof so only one more round of sanding and filling and before paint I guess so water for you. with a pink edge yes yes best kind <laughs> A 
couple of weeks ago now, I adjusted this uh, this hole here to fit the door from a, a door manufacturer or window manufacturer, and I haven't quite tidied them up, them up. So that should be a quick job with with a drill and uh, some sandpaper. Right now there's quite a few things going on. <laughs> All very repetitive, boring little tasks. So we are filling and sanding again, of course. That's, that's what we do here, mainly. <laughs> but we are in the final round of filling here in the salon. No, sorry, cockpit. And tomorrow we'll do the, the back end. I'm working on these drains. They're pretty good now. You just need a final little sand before paint. And I'll continue working on these little drains. Actually pretty, pretty big drains from my uh, engine room hatches so they need a quick sand and then they should be good for paint as well the next activity at building Vilda is masking we have to protect pretty much the entire boat making sure that nothing else other than the cockpit will get a new coat of paint We have to carefully tape all the little corners and edges and we also want to achieve a nice crisp line between the outer pastel grey and the white that we will have in the cockpit. Axel is using the thin green tape, which is more flexible for rounding the corners or preparing nice lines to be used as separators between the white and the grey. And we also use the yellow tape for some other areas, as it is easy to work with on straight lines and sticks well to the existing surface. We also have to back mask all the window cutouts and the engine room compartments as they have been already painted. It seems like a lot of preparation work and masking, but we think it is well worth it for the result that we get from spray painting top coat instead of rolling it. The plan for the following day was to mix enough paint so as to cover also the cockpit hatches or doors for the lockers, the step and the tabletop. So we set up a paint area at the back of the shed where we want to apply a top coat on these as well. Set up for painting. Of course, on the hatches. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> so, after masking everything yesterday, mm -hmm. we were pretty well off today. The next day we started with the usual cleaning, wipe on, wipe off with Prepsol and then the tack rag.
The cockpit turned out to be a tricky area to spray paint in, especially on the second round as we didn't want to touch or damage any painted surfaces. The floor would quickly become sticky due to overspray and so we had taped the soles of our shoes trying to have a layer that could be removed and to allow us to walk again on the surface on round 2. So Axel was making sure we have enough paint in the bucket and also standing on a ladder next to the hose up into the cockpit. I went in the cockpit together with Chris who was spray painting and the idea was to help with holding the hose and maybe some guidance if needed in case any spots would be missed in the spray painting. And now, shall we do some time traveling to enjoy the result? We think Vilda has gone through a fantastic transformation over the years and we are happy with the way she looks now. Let's just hope we have the energy and resources to bring her on the water. Thanks for following, remember to give us a like and a comment if you enjoy watching our progress. See you next Sunday!